Why are you so mad at Jesus? I fucking hate Jesus. Why do you hate Jesus? He's just not real. He's not real? No, he's not real. Why is he not real? Because he's a fictional character. You made him up in his head. The the Bible is the most proven history book. It's iconic. Is the most proven history book that's ever been. Peace and blessings to everybody today. All right, the first thing we got to get out the way before we start this video is to learn to never condemn anyone. We don't have the power to do that because, first of all, you are not allowed to judge anyone for what they really going through. Only judge them righteously and try to help them, minister to them. Second of all, you don't know why this person is even saying this. Everybody's going to believe what they want to believe, and God has their time with everybody. Literally, it's you and God, nobody else. Now, to start this off, remember what I said about how, you know, you got to look at people's spirits. It's not her that's saying that she hates Jesus. Because if Jesus is so fictional, how could you hate something that you, that's not real in your eyes? You know, you don't you don't see everybody. Well, you do got, you know, people being fans of things, of fantasy books and movies and things like that. But everybody obviously knows that stuff is fake, right? Like Superman and things like that. But this is a man that has spoken on as a true human a man without sin why would you hate somebody so good that just wants better for you doesn't make sense right that means it's the spirit within her whatever demonic stronghold that's in her and it's all according to your lifestyle too because you got it wanted for yourself if she want to be relieved from that demon that's within her making her say that she hates jesus that she gotta want that for herself. Nothing can relieve her, nothing anybody can say to her, nothing anybody can do to her to make her want to more better and make her not wanna say these things anymore. But it's the spirit within her to make it people to, first of all, mislead other people and mislead herself away from God. But look, at the end of the day, they are gonna believe what they wanna believe. But remember, don't condemn anyone. It's the spirits within us and we just gotta do better you see how hard it is for a street preacher? You got to be ready. You got to be ready for the warfare in the inside and on the outside. You got to be ready to go against other people's flesh and everything like that. But obviously, she just needs help. And we just got to pray for her. So peace and blessings.